1248, we are live on a Wednesday. Welcome back and a happy hump day. Chargers getting ready for the Broncos. Aztecs hoops victorious last night as they take down San Diego Christian, 91-57. Aztecs football, it's a bye week. And then they finish up the regular season against Wyoming in Laramie. And then we get to start talking about bowl games. But we also get to start talking about a conference championship. Honestly, I didn't think they could do it. But, of course, they can. If you look at this conference top to bottom, if there's one year you can do it, it's this year. As BYU, Utah, TCU left us in the past, and I know we welcome Fresno State, Hawaii, but this is a very down year for the Aztecs to have a quality season. This is the right year to have it. Especially with Boise State breaking in their new quarterback. So get them now because Boise State, once this guy really figures it out, this kid's Southwick, who knows how much better they'll become as the years go by. Unbelievable to even think about a Mountain West Conference championship in the final season in the MWC. Of course, that is on the mind of our next guest, Aztecs tight end Gavin Escobar, nice enough to join us here on the Western Exterminator Hotline. Gavin, great to speak with you. How's your week going so far? Uh, It's going really good. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah, Gavin, we celebrate your wins. Do you ever get to celebrate any of your wins? Uh, We do as a team if uh, the games aren't too late, you know, like if we have an early game or something. Yeah, but I know that in preseason, a lot of the publications had the the Aztecs around fourth or fifth in the country over or fourth or fifth in the conference overall. But now that you guys are having a success, I know you're going to say you're not surprised because you always expect success. But seriously, how surprising is this to you? Um, it's it's more exciting, you know. Uh, going into the season, we didn't really know how how good the other teams were going to be in the conference, and it's been a tough uh, tough conference so far. We've just been. Uh, fortunate enough to come on top of a lot of those games. Mm. Uh, what do you say we get a better connection? Gavin, real quick, we're hearing a crazy little crackle in our headphones. Are you still are you hearing it, or is it just us? Uh, no, I haven't really heard it. Well, would that be okay, Carl, if we do a little callback real quick? You never know. This is what you do on a cell phone. But I just have a feeling it's annoying for the listeners right now to hear this crackle. <laughs> or maybe it's just in my head. No, it's not in your head. It's in my head, too. But I'm trying to power through it. That's what Rocky Lawrence wanted us to do. Just power through it. All right, power through. Yeah. Try to power through the crackle. Gavin, when I say do you celebrate a win, of course, you're talking about the night of. But do you guys adopt the personality of Rocky Long, where when your coach says after a win he's already thinking about the next week, is that your philosophy as well, that you never want to just dwell on anything? Yeah, you never want to get too excited for any win because, you know, you always got next week is coming up right right around the corner. But you want to enjoy the win that, you know, you just had and and then move move on the next day. How about the adjustment from the three quarterbacks you've dealt with? You got here, you had Ryan Lindley, Ryan graduates, you have Ryan Katz, Ryan Katz gets hurt, you have Adam Dingwell. Is there much an adjustment for you catching balls from different guys? Uh, you know, they all have a different type of ball, but um, I'm just still running the same routes I've been running, so... It's a little bit of adjustment, but I've been running routes for these guys ever since I've been here. You know, Katz was a little new, and uh, we ha- we worked all spring and summer. So, and Dingwall's been here ever since uh, he was a freshman, been throwing me ball. So it's uh, it's not too big of an adjustment. What's Dingwall's personality like? We've had him on the show, but does he have those leadership qualities you want in a QB? Uh, yeah, he definitely has those leadership uh, uh, qualities. Uh, he's really uh, outgoing and. Um, He's really one of those guys who just uh, pushes you to be your best. Talking to Gavin Escobar, tight end for the San Diego State Aztecs, as they are number one leading the Mountain West Conference. Gavin, this team is obviously making a move to the Big East Conference next year. There'll be a Big East East. There'll be a Big East West. But I really want to ask you is that it may be tough for you to do, but take yourself back to your high school days. Senior in high school, you get recruited by San Diego State, and they tell you we're in the Big East. But we're in the Big East West. We'll have to travel back East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Is that an attractive thing for you as far as recruiting goes? Do you think you would be attracted to the name the Big East? Uh, yeah, I'd probably be attractive. You know, I uh, I grew up in the in the uh, East Coast, so I think that'd be exciting for me personally. And I think it's just exciting because there's just a wide variety of uh, teams that will be playing. Mm. We're just going to get to the heavy question now because next year the team is in the Big East. Will you be with this team? Do you think you'll be sticking around for your senior season? Uh, that's something that I'll uh, look into after the season, and we'll, we'll see. I knew that answer was coming. Just had to ask it. It's not like you would make your announcement right here. Guys, I'm leaving school the week before Wyoming. But when I talk about bowl games, Poinsettia Bowl you've played in, and I know you're focused on the Wyoming game in a couple of weeks, but would you like to get out of town, or would you be happy to be playing another game at the queue? Yeah, I'd be happy playing in front of our fans. At, and Point City is a great ball. It was, it was fun uh, 
uh, the year we went, but it'd also be great to go to Las Vegas or anywhere else. Yeah, we hear a lot of guys talk about whether it be in college or the pros, when it's a good quarterback to wide receiver type of tandem to talk about, well, you know, we room together during camp, we hang out uh, you know, outside of classroom, outside of practice, where we hang out. Is that the case with you and Adam Dingwell, or is that the case with you and even Ryan Katz? Because you seem to have good rapport with these guys. Does the off-field relationship help what's happening on field? Yeah, it definitely does. You know, I think most of our team is pretty tight off the field. We uh, hang out when we can, when we have free time. We're always together during uh, during camp and during practice, so I think it really does help. Is that emphasized by Rocky, or is that the natural thing with the locker room? You guys just kind of gravitate to each other. I think that's just natural. Ever since I've got here, um, we've been tight. You know, there's maybe like some scuffles every now and then between offense and defense, but overall everyone's pretty close with each other. Healthy scuffles. That's what we like to hear. Absolutely. Gavin Escobar and the Aztecs looking for a Mountain West Conference championship. Just when I say that, before I get to my next question, but <laughs> what would that mean to you? A Mountain West Conference championship, I know it means more than any individual accolade. Describe what that would mean to you. That would be huge. You know, that's been uh, our goal ever since I got here as a freshman, and uh, we've been striving to get that goal, and it just mean a lot for our seniors this year and, and to me and to everyone in this this program. No doubt. Gavin, your coach is honest. Let me give him credit. At the beginning of the year, he says, I don't know if we're good or bad. Sometimes he says, I have to coach better. I didn't get the job done. So he always lets you know truly what's going on. But do you always know what Coach Long is thinking? As a fan, I have no clue. But do you always know what he's thinking throughout the game with the game planning? Uh, yeah. I don't know how he's thinking throughout the game, but he's really honest with us, and he's really straightforward. So if he tells us um, something, he's going to be straightforward and tell us what he's thinking. Does he ever surprise you when he goes for two or when he chooses a two-point conversion over an extra point? Does he ever surprise you when he goes for it on fourth down, or have you just learned to expect it? No, that's just that, that kind of gets us excited on offense, at least when we're going for fourth down, because that means he has the confidence in us, so that's just exciting for us. Who's your favorite tight end to watch in the NFL on Sunday? Uh, right now, probably, uh, probably Jimmy Graham or uh, Gronkowski. Even Tony Gonzalez is pretty exciting. Do you ever watch these guys? I know you're humble, but do you ever watch these guys and say, yep, that's exactly where I'm headed? <laughs> I, I try to think that way, but uh, I'm not that confident. Uh, <laughs> Gavin Escobar, the most modest guy yeah, on campus. Yeah, a little humility. I dig it. I like it, though, Gavin. We appreciate you answering these questions <laughs> and not announcing what you're going to do next year. But thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show. Best of luck against Wyoming. All right, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.